I'm mad. I needed a joint. Where you get it from? No, I need a My plug love me. Like, me and a plug like cousins. You ready, Roll up a finger, it got my eyes ringing. I'm puffing on shit you go cold to. My pack have your car jumping right off the bottom of water. I can shift the poles through. Yeah. I said, the Uber, she hopped in real fluid. Little nigga, not sure what she told you. Post nigga, I get to the bag. No million or dab. I just hit the I'm All right, yo. <laughs> Episode two of explicit content. Yeah. We got Rose over here. Gay gay. Turbo Crop, C Rob, back here. And then we got special guests, my boy Indigo. How you feeling, Indigo? Man, I'm I'm, I'm happy to be here, bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you guys are super this is our cool. very first, nervous. This is our very first <laughs> guest on the show. Yeah. History right here, man. Had to keep it. <laughs> we wanted to get very personal for the first one, you feel me? All right. Sure, so. So, you going straight into it, dog? Yeah, I mean, I just wanted to kind of just ask, you know, because you're a Chicago native. Oh. You're also from the state of Illinois, Gary. So, you know, Michael Jackson, Robert Kelly. Oh, oh. I, I kind of just wanted to know what you guys' insight was as, as far as uh, the evidence or lack of evidence. So we had a guest on our show asking us <laughs> questions. Hey, this is, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how you guys feel about that. Wow, well, all right. You know, I've heard some things. So um, <laughs> from my understanding, they're looking to prosecute Michael Jackson, right? Yeah. If Michael Jackson's prosecuted, what will be physically prosecuted? Oh, he's like cremated? <laughs> no, he's big. Uh, yeah, like so coffin? Essentially, you feel that uh, this is to no avail. It's a reach. No point. It's a reach. Actually, they can, they want, actually, are they going to take from his estate? His estate. That's, the children see. blanket? The estate? <laughs> it's, it's your children. The Beatles catalog. That is also true. They, they want so that. Mean, you know, that's what they want. They want that because we got to remember Michael Jackson was friends with Paul McCartney. He asked the Beatles, what would you guys ever sell your catalog for? They thought he was joking. They wrote down a number. Two months later, Paul McCartney calls. Michael Jackson was like, you know, you bought all of our catalog. And he was like, well, I paid more than you asked me for. So when he did that, ATV merged with Sony, giving Michael Jackson 50% ownership of that company. And so... John Platt fixed it up. Uh, I, I, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that the children from the previous cases that he was alive has said that they were not touched. So did the women in R. Kelly's trial as well. Oh, yes. Hold on. So... Well, what are we saying here, C. Rock? What is being said? What do you feel about R. Kelly again, sir? I feel as if. I, I just to clarify. I really believe Michael Jackson didn't touch them kids, bro. You do. And, you and believe he did. I believe he don't. I, I believe, believe he did. did. I don't think he did either. I, I, I don't believe. I believe Michael Jackson for 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 a hundred. He's from Gary, Indiana. Not a hundred percent. He's a real nigga. <laughs> but I will say, I I just don't feel like he touched those children, and I feel like at this point. What what is what is really the what is justice? What is justice at this point? What it, what is it? I think the question this is actually a true thing that occurred. The people around those people weren't trying to get them help. Now, as far as R. Kelly, I can't say R. Kelly. I believe R. Kelly needs help. I believe the first thing that he's mentally should have happened. Can he R. get? Kelly. Can he read? No, can, we get, just, can you do that first? He's illiterate. Can you do that first for R. Kelly, bro? He's illiterate. It's like uh, he needs therapy, man. Maybe he does need to go to jail so you like get a GED or something. I'm just saying. There's other ways around that, though. <laughs> you really ain't. Oh my god! I didn't know this show was gonna be this like. <laughs> I wasn't really prepared for this. You weren't prepared. No. Is that why you bought? Honest. Is that why you bought three pair of glasses? <laughs> You weren't, you didn't know what you wanted to see. He ain't never just switch these bitches. Oh, you missed it. <laughs> oh my fucking god! All right, the cameras on. caught it. Yeah. Come on. So, so Robert Kelly. Yes, Robert. Robert whose Kelly brother? Has... No, he's not. Whose brother is actually? Excuse me. Oh. Whose brother is actually in jail? Right. For I believe. Robert what, Kelly's what, brother's in jail. What was it? What was it kidnapping? Something like that. Some type of wild crime, but you know he said that's his brother's preference. You know everybody got a preference. It's, Here's why R. Said, Kelly's. I like. I'm an older man that like younger women. <laughs> he 
keeps it legal. That's what R. Kelly said. I don't look at how old. Bruce Kelly is currently <laughs> locked up due to a 2016 burglary conviction. Burglary. I'd say I thought like he's in the Van- Vandela Correctional Center. He has two years. Yeah, he, he, he gets out. He gets out December 2019, which would, which would be around the same time R. Kelly would be going to jail if he's sentenced. <laughs> Bro, I hear what you're saying. And that's kind of crazy how that, how that lines up. R. Kelly is going to go to jail, though. I, oh, I definitely God believe that R. Kelly is going to be sentenced. But I also I think the white man's protecting him. The white man? Robert Kraft went to jail. Them crackers. <laughs> Robert Kraft went to jail. Use <laughs> your common sense. That's stupid. Is this camera on me? <laughs> what? <laughs> Robert Them Kraft. Them crackers. I just want you all to know that Robert Kraft is in jail. Hey, I also want you guys that is a wait, no, no bullshit. Let's let's not let's not let's. He's not a rich forget. white billionaire who does not need to be protected by the white man because he's not harming white women. But R. Kelly, who is harming black women, is being Robert, protected. By Meek the, Mill and Jay Z. Yeah, we're trying to get gave, Robert Kraft on board with jail reformation. Reformation. They gave Robert Kraft a change. And all of a sudden, he's in jail for getting some neck behind the Whole Foods? I don't believe oh it. Oh my God, some neck behind the They had the I women sleeping on cots. Bro. I don't believe it. Oh, he in jail right now? Robert I'm Kraft just said saying. I did all this time. Like a week after. He been a billionaire, bro. Out there joint. Oh, he he been a, bro, he been a billionaire he been for him. years. He so he probably oh, been yeah. getting nectarine, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 14. He probably been getting nectarine. This nigga from nectarine. And all of a sudden, when he start wearing a, a dream chaser chain, he go to jail. Yeah. I'm just saying. All of a sudden, he start wearing the, you feel me a meat meal championship chain. All of a sudden, he start getting those stage card to be. All of a sudden, he start talking to meat meal like, yeah, we we brothers, a white billionaire who been a billionaire since before our time. Mm. Now all of well, a sudden Nico, he getting caught up for next green behind the whole fool. I don't believe it. I mean, I, I don't, I, I'm not saying he didn't do it. But what I am saying is this whole speculation, what is this assassination of the character these days? What's going on? I'm just saying. Prison of Reformation, you got a white man on our set who owned the Patriots, America's team. Who just won? Come on now, yeah, bro. It just, but, I mean, and he on stage with the champion. I'm talking about big GBSs. Champion, GBS. Baguettes. You Eliante, you did? You feel me? Elliot, man. Water on Robert Kraft's neck. He could bat 30,000 of them bitches for Philadelphia. And that's what me. But me gave him one. You feel me? <laughs> Come on, man. How many Richard Millies me give away, man? Come on, man. And y'all want me to believe... Bag talk. Y'all want to believe he got some six dollar? Come on, six dollar head, bro. That's what they saying. It was huh? a million dollar industry. Come on, <laughs> man. Well, come on, dog. Well, you know it's also a million dollar industry. Playboy magazine. Yeah, you know. <sighs> what you? What? You have I mean, you definitely was. I guess you know the founder of Playboy magazine. But if we're gonna bring up the you know continuous abuse and soliciting of the woman's body, especially young women. You have me put a 12 year old girl on a cover of Playboy, shirtless, a full spread inside of Playboy, naked. This is a 12 year old girl. This is These magazines were sold in the gas station too. I remember <laughs> These are I, I used to want the cops. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you see why niggas are always gonna just nick? You can't even have a you, cover. Niggas are always gonna nick. <laughs> <laughs> no cap, man, but yeah. He has shit like this in circulation, so I mean, we have to we have to go back and really understand. Like, even if, if we're gonna talk about his effort, let's talk about Elvis. You know? Oh yeah. Yeah, I love y'all. Priscilla. Some Elvis. Oh, Priscilla yeah. was like fourteen, right? Man, yeah, I love y'all. Some Elvis. I believe he got out the army and married shorty soon. Like soon as he got back, you know, the army is still doing that. They just doing. They just getting the Camaros now. And I'm telling y'all, so I don't want to hear none of that bullshit about. Oh well, when you talk about everybody else. Then you could own it. No. We talking about everybody. We just being fair and honest. We being yeah. Don't we, don't do that. I don't think because that, if that's the case, you more of a hypocrite than me. Did anybody pick a side? Mm-hmm. Did y'all listen to the music still? R. Kelly? Yeah. I actually uh I, like, I ain't been no cookout so now. Nah. That's the only time I've listened to R. <laughs> R. Kelly. I don't listen to R. Kelly willingly. I never have, I'm not gonna lie to you. You never have listened to him willingly? <laughs> I believe I can fly. Maybe when I have to I sing wish. it for for school for, for eighth grade I type. Wish. 
Other than that, bro. Remember Ron Hood is about to say what's up? Let you know your baby boy ain't doing too tough. <laughs> hey, what was the song? What was the song yeah, was in elementary bro. school? I, I got bro. shot by the FBI. Oh, oh my yeah. god, bro. Oh, oh no. Bro, that was the playground song. Uh, my mama was a chicken, but I <laughs> got shot by the FBI. <laughs> bro, that's the thing. Hey, like, dude, I ain't gonna lie to wait, hold on, Shay, hold on. You from? You from? Is yeah. <laughs> I got no, but I got you, Shay, bro. You gotta cut. It. <laughs> All right, hold on, hold on. You. you <laughs> hey, you from uh, you from Mississippi though, yeah. so like we, me and Rose, we talking about something like I remember like that was never a real song, but like we I used to. Fucking yeah, but no, it was a, like a remix. Yeah, oh yeah, y'all used to have that too. Yeah, yeah. I was I making, mean, I was just making sure that that was a well. So uh, yeah, R. Kelly had the world going crazy, nigga. That's my point. point. That's your point. My point is R. Kelly had the world going crazy. No, that's a terrible. Thing. And he didn't, he didn't even see all that money, bro. So y'all, bro, this is at least respect the music. But I, okay, bro. but respect okay, this might be uncool to me to do, but because I really fuck respect with Michael Jackson, I really fuck with Michael Jackson. So it's hard for me to say that I just automatically don't fuck with him anymore. We can't. can't I, I, I'll have to just say that. I don't know how anybody else feels, but Rock With You may be one of the Ooh. best songs I've ever heard in my life. And I also heard a rendition of Rock With You, so right. I'm, I'm gonna oh just play that right now. So okay. I'm gonna Yeah, that's hot. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's hot. <laughs> that's it right there. We gonna, we gonna drop the full clip in the bio for y'all wanna watch that. No cap, man. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's a very that's that's a great song, man. So, so Mike ain't do it. R. Kelly going to jail. But how long is R. Kelly gonna do? How how's R. Kelly keep getting out? Mm. R uh, Swiss bank account. <laughs> oh, hey, this hey. So I don't do conspiracy theories. Where is the conspiracy answer? But I believe in alternate realities, folks. Oh, yeah. Okay. You know, time is infinite. The universe is infinite. You right. feel me? So, I believe, folks, that just maybe, just maybe, it might be some cap. I believe this is, uh, this is the cap section. We're going to have a cap section. There, there's a little bit of cap in there. <laughs> and and I feel like that cat needs to be recognized. Why all of a sudden is this happening to our cat? After twenty years? Yeah, y'all ever seen that Boondocks episode? And he was like, "If I see some niggas jumping a nigga, I'm not gonna instantly help him. I'm gonna be like, damn, what he do to make them niggas that mad?" Yeah, I remember that episode. I remember that R. Kelly episode. The Moon does come back on this month, too. I remember so, that Did it? They already back on. Okay. Okay. New episodes? Not new episodes, but they. I they feel like the Boondocks is trying to uh, see what their viewers is looking like yeah, before, yeah, they, before, they before they release before they release a new season. Tanisha yeah, yeah. Coates might hop on that right. Uncle Ruckus just did an interview on Breakfast Club. Did you know that? Who? Uncle Ruckus. Oh, yeah, the nigga, the voice? Yeah, yeah otherwise. I called in and did an interview. All right, I'm gonna check it out. Yeah, that's just actually. We need to get him on here. So you do. He's he's extremely. So that being said. Yeah, back to this. That being said, why? 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 He he made a a a, a point was made. It was a fucked up point by illiterate motherfuckers. But it was a point, nonetheless. Y'all should have did that shit 30 years ago. Okay, so... I'm just I saying, what, what's I going on? I understand What's that. the beef? That's what Bill... You said that, you gotta talk about Bill Cosby. Because that was some really old uh, old news. It's Can we not touch Bill Cosby? Old news is, you know... They call him Dr. Huskable in prison. Damn. Real old people drugs. 
Yeah, he probably bro. Yeah, they got that hot dog. They don't even mm-hmm. make Quaaludes no more. <laughs> they they don't even make the bitch no more. I don't know. I guess I I I understand the perspective of damn. That's that's tormenting and preying upon women. But we also have to take into consideration that the things that we hold in our moral value did like changes through generations. So what they felt was immoral and wrong to do wasn't tap like nah. drugs before sex was not taboo. Like they were experimenting with all these drugs. All these drugs LSD. My granddad told me that real shit. All these drugs were new for these people. So like they're like, oh yeah, let's take this shit and you know do whatever you know. So it's like and then they end up fucked. Yeah. And then they like, damn. Okay. Woodstock. Yeah, that's exactly what that was. I mean, you know. But the conundrum around it is, to me, the uh, thing that doesn't get me is... Where's the day? Conundrum. Is, is, is... The cap. There's always cap in it somewhere, some way, somehow. It starts off as 86 women says this, then it cuts down to, okay, this 30 actually happened. Then it gets cut down, okay, it only happened to 10 people. And I'm saying that it's fucked up regardless, but why? Why? What? 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 What is that about? What is that for? What? Why? Because it it, it fucks itself up. You feel me? It, it fucks up the the credibility. It it harms. It does more damage than it does anything. You know. And uh, that's that's my whole take on it. I, I I definitely feel. I definitely. I definitely. I definitely don't want that to be a violation of someone's body. Uncontrollable situation. I like to have control over my situations. I would be dead. Come on now. No. I feel like Tom from the Boondocks. I, I can't do that drill. No. You ain't gonna take. You can't take me. <laughs> That's your so. biggest fear. You can't take I'm me. So. You can't take. <laughs> you gonna have to kill me. So. <laughs> that shit on the road. <laughs> you gonna have way. to kill me. <laughs> so. You gonna have to kill me. So. Hey, yeah. Anywho. Y'all are. Hey, man. Bro, the shit is fucked up, nonetheless. But yeah, man. Creepy people, creepy people should just, you know, I don't know, get some therapy. You know, it's like, it's a lot of creepy people. So, man. listen, I was at Mardi Gras and, you know, you know, they got the balconies and shit, everybody throw the beads. I know the tradition, you know. Titties. Right, show your titties. So, tell me why. I, I've been twice. You, me and Rose went once, once, and uh, I went last, this uh, current year, 2019. Hey, bitch, Shout out to Alice Kelly. Tell me why. Shorty showing her titties for the bees, you know, flash, you know how the bees are next. Man, come up with a camera. Like the little VHS joint. It zooms in on the nipples, bro. He get that. You know, I see him like moving that bitch. I'm like, never. And then Shorty, you know, everybody drunk. So she's just like, ah, she keep going. I'm like, yo, this nigga's sober. So he got like maybe three, four beads on his neck. Ah, little yeah. Camera bag. You know, you see him. You know what I'm talking about. And it be creepy. They it it really like be a lot of creepy men in Mardi Gras just like recording women with their titties out, bro. And that shit's wild, but. My yard is a different place. That's a different part of society for a week. Hell on earth. Creepy niggas everywhere though. Party promoters? Yeah. Niggas creepy. Maybe some niggas should be trying to finesse. That's the case. We might as well talk about Miami spring break. Mm, (laughs) Oh, what's up? Okay. You you brought this to my attention earlier today. Um, Yeah, yeah, Shorty got knocked out. He had a video. We gonna drop the clips. Yeah, so. I, as the clip showed you, Shorty, I guess they were all fighting. She went and swung on the dude. He turns around, looks at her, hits her, slumps her, you know. She's locked out cold. People are up. Everybody's, ooh, recording. Everyone has their phone out. Some dude comes out with a red eye camera, you know, doing a 360s. With a little hang. Red eye camera, like $2,000 camera. I'm like, bro. And it's two hands. It's for a documentary. <laughs> it's, it's, it's honestly really, really, really a like, different see, place. Yeah, it, it's 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 wild because it's like damn, people are so in tune with social media and their phones. Rather than saying if this young woman is okay, they're recording her. Like I'm talking about crazy. cold, like USC, like body. Like nah, I showed you was out. Like she was a you man. You, like, you, she was out. Bro. Bro. Yeah. Why would you even want to? I'm not gonna lie, bro. I'm confused. Why you? Like, I mean, I understand fighting and shit, but. Hey, you hit a nigga that hard? <laughs> Damn, can bro. you hit a nigga That's what I'm saying. Like, can you hit a nigga that hard, bro? Like, are you going to hit a nigga that hard? Yeah, like, I want to yeah. see you fight a nigga now. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, no, for a fact. Like, if you're doing this to show your eye, what are you going to do to the nigga? <laughs> you feel me? I mean, it's just Brock like, Lesnar or somebody, nigga. It was crazy that 
the that young man with the rock that. on that ass. Right. But it was also the people. It wasn't no time. It was it was it was hesitation, you know what I'm saying? It was he had it wasn't like a reaction. It. I'm not thinking about the reaction. And where were his friends? They fake as fuck too for letting him and where so I hope her friends would just let her sit there and bleed, bro. <laughs> to the police or something. It, like it's, it's a few clips out there, bro. Where I read the comments, they said she angles. they said she was she's she from Agnes Scott? No, I said oh. it's different angles, but what was it? She's about Agnes Scott. Get off me though. <laughs> 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 oh my god. <laughs> uh, but nah, I, was, I was reading the comments and it said that um, I read the comments and it said she swung first. I uh, know, I seen this swing first. Oh shit! It's in a video. Self defense, then. God damn it. No, bro. <laughs> no. Don't touch me. No. You know, don't I'm touch me. Republican. I'm, 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 I'm Republican. I'm, 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 I'm Republican. I'm kidding. Oh, okay. It wasn't self defense. I think uh, he could have did a little, you know, like slow, like muff off. You feel me? Something like that. Just get off me. You feel me? None of that was necessary. But them but. bitches do hurt. Like unexpected hits, so you're not looking for them. And it's the beat. He probably was wet. I'm not giving him no excuse. Fuck that. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you you should have hit her, bro. You wilded out. You really tweaking. I don't know why your niggas are not. If you had two words to tell him, Shay, what'd you gonna say? Seek therapy. Because mm. obviously some See, ball of emotions. That's a strong <laughs> tour. <laughs> that's a strong so tour. <laughs> that bitch is heavy. That's a strong. All right, bro. So we're going to wrap it up here. You know, uh, shout out to my brother, Andy Go, for coming out. So, you know, we do the, the uh, top two artists of the week or whatever. So I'm going to let him pick. You feel me? He got an artist for us today. So my artist of the week is Splash Drexler. It's a dude um, hailing from Houston, Texas, originally from Mississippi, Blake, Mississippi. He uh, was down there. Rapping, making little, you know, raps here and there in high school. Went down to Texas, met a uh, ugly guy. Uh, they started rapping together. He started making his uh, own music, and his music kind of blew up. I uh, came across some of his music about two years ago, and I mean, I really fuck with that. I feel like he's consistent. The song that I would recommend everyone listen to is uh, "Juice," "Bleed from a Distance," uh, "Go to Neck Intro to," or you know, whatever you know you find on the page. But I think he's. Next up, I think that he's gonna have a great year this year, and I feel like people should really keep their eye on him. You know, we gonna drop it right at the end. It's explicit content. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at hey, Turbo Crop. Stay up like layups. IG rock. Like rebound. Ooh, God damn. I like that. You wanna run that back? I don't like that one. I don't hurt you. Stay up like layups, never down like rebound. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Peace. What you got from Rose? IG Rose the flop. Oh no! Wait, oh, yeah. wait, oh, wait. I'm so, I'm high. Sorry. Uh, IG Rose Max Payne. Twitter Rose Lafleur underscore. Yeah, yeah. Uh, now get the fuck out of our face, man. Oh yeah, flowers by Indigo. <laughs> That's it. Sorry, you told me. I took a hiatus, she say I'm my favorite, I love it when she put my soul to it We meditate for a day, sailing niggas, soldier nates with a smoke move Nomadic spirit on the low, uh, my mind always on the road uh, So tell me if you feel alone, uh, cause you can never hit my phone if you want it Niggas don't be realistic, Jesus he stepping the Christians Put it on me, then maybe we go get them Christians, listen, open my pivot if I throw